Well, Rhode Island is preparing for its second presidential visit in just two months now. As we first told you right here last night at 5, President Obama will be here in the Ocean State again next week. He's the latest name now added to the growing list of political heavyweights who have either visited or now plan to visit Rhode Island before Election Day. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Piner has more now on the president's impending visit and campaign 2014. Well, if there is any doubt that we are extremely close to a general election, the next several days promise to make things very clear. In a rare move, President Obama slated to return to Rhode Island Thursday for his second Ocean State visit in mere weeks. Late August marked the last, a top dollar Democratic fundraiser in Newport. The White House saying only the president will deliver remarks on the economy. No details beyond that. This comes amid a local political bonanza. See if you can keep this straight. One Republican governor stumping for one who wishes to be Chris Christie with Alan Fung Friday. Next, a former governor and unsuccessful White House contender Mitt Romney links up with Fung for a fundraiser on the same day. The president who beat him comes to town. And of course, Gina Raimondo, she'll roll out the carpet for another one-time presidential hopeful who may go for two, Hillary Clinton. No word whether President Obama will throw his weight behind Raimondo. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming said these late appearances aren't so much about getting bodies into voting booths as they are about exposure. The photo op energizing the troops and also being able to raise more money for your campaign. We're down to three weeks in the campaign. The candidates are trying to raise whatever money they can to get on the media. And that's going to be that main push at this point, more media. And as tends to be White House protocol, we expect more details connected to the president's visit as we get closer to Thursday. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Planter, Eyewitness News. And we're taking the pulse of Rhode Island voters with another exclusive Eyewitness News Providence Journal poll starting Tuesday at 5 o'clock. See who voters support in key races like Attorney General, Secretary of State, Lieutenant Governor and more. We'll reveal the first results Tuesday on Eyewitness News live at 5, also online at WPRI.com.